Well, uh, I get a recall, not a recall, but how to say it. I started playing music when I was 10 years old, and um, as I said, it's kind of a not easy experience for myself, but uh, everything changed when I met my professor. You know, I remember still, I'm going inside the room, I was told by my uh, uh, teacher, she was a lady, uh, and she told me that the professor is coming, so I'm coming in the room, I have to perform certain things. So I kind of shake you, <laughs> shake the professor is there. Anyway, I have seen him before, I have heard, he had actually the same name like I do it. The same name, like the same first and last name, the same. Actually, his first and last name was my first and second name. So in a sense, we kind of twist by names. <laughs> and so I entered the room, sit down. He's speaking with her. In the, I still kind of see him speaking, speaking with her in the window. It, uh, it was a uh, summer. It was a warm day. I was uh, born in Bulgaria. This was in Berlin. It's a beautiful, gorgeous summer. I came here. And I see him sit down. And I see him now sit kind of at the window. And he had a cigarette in his mouth. And he is kind of a talk to at that time he was missing some teeth, I remember hearing that one of these two teeth was taken off. But he's something in here, some energy, some power is coming out of him. And he was, his eyes was like a snake when he would look at you. Like just you transfixed, you begin shaking, <laughs> the next victim. <laughs> so that's funny thing. So, well, Kutiba was scared me, I don't remember, I performed or whatever, but I was continuing. But I observed this authority figure has played an enormous part so, what moved me to motivate me, not like this, he wanted something for myself, but later on, I kind of was average, kind of, I couldn't succeed. I remember one very humiliating kind of experience. I was fifth, um, kind of a, in the fifth uh, course in the, in the high school, like a 12th uh, grade. And senior, I'm senior at music high school in Varna. And I had to perform an audition. And I'm going there. I still remember the, the, I forgot the, piece, the name of the piece, but and I played everything the day four parts. So the fourth part is coming. It was kind of a fast. And we boom. And my mind freezes. Wow. I can begin for the beginning. Boom. Freezes. I can't go further. Because I got a nightmare. And I kind of begin perspiring. I don't know what to do. I <laughs> so humiliated, so ashamed. And again, third time I tried the same. I just, my mind could not continue. I just got it. I was so, I was sweating. I didn't want to see a human being. I was so humiliated. I was so ashamed of myself. And so, I went to music academy, etc. I said I played there, but I was kind of always average. Well, finishing the music academy, I began working in a symphony orchestra. And one night, I was kind of sleeping. I didn't have, I was finished. This was 84, 1984. And all of a sudden, I wake up. I have to go and get that national competition. I get in the first place. I have to get there. I have first place. I have to have first place. This was 3 o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep. Goodness. And then I go, uh, write, him, uh, write to my professor. This was December, and this competition is starting in three months, end of the, uh, March. And I never have prepared myself. I just kind of this hypnotic kind of a decision uh, done in sleep, and I never thought about it. And I wrote my letter to my professor. And everybody knows as well as myself. I'm average. I'm kind of a, even worse than average. I could never go and perform well. And he said, well, why don't go to the next kind of a competition, which is in November, kind of very gentle, kind of a forward then. He said, no, 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 the second is more, yeah, more difficult, I have to go to the first one. He said, all right, what are you going to play? He said, this thing. No, why are you going to play that thing? Not so difficult to play these things, is it? I'm lying on that thing. Why? Because a friend of mine was playing that very difficult symphonic concertante. This was Bulgarian music, modern music, from Lubomir Pimkov. So, so, okay, do whatever you want, etc. We'll see how you're going. Well, three months pass, and kind of I'm not going anywhere, but I'm kind of progressing, I see, but etc. And coming to, an, uh, to this competition, boom, I'm going there, hitting the first place. So, and I go to uh, this gala concert, and I, I, sp I remember before even the, when we got the places, we go to a restaurant together. He comes to me and says, 
But uh, you have to play the Garangal concerto. What do you want to play? I said, I want to play the first part, the, 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 the fourth part of the symphony concerto with an orchestra. I play with that orchestra. So my conductor, my colleagues, said, he said, no, no way. <laughs> you cannot play the, play the first part or play something. No, no, I said, I played, no, no. I said, I'm going to argue with you. I said, first part with piano. Okay, first part with piano. All right, God. So I went down there and began playing. So he told me before this, you don't have to pay, play great. You just don't play bad. <laughs> <laughs> just don't play bad, don't spoil it. <laughs> From nowhere, just so quiet. Don't fall down, just in the most important moment. <laughs> so it was good enough. So, I, so we have a national TV and the girls. I watched myself. It was a kind of, a, what to say, not great, but this was not bad. <laughs> so I said, he was happy about this, etc. But uh, what is uh, kind of interesting about again to make this connection is what I uh, came to myself is I felt this professor you have done so much for me and I couldn't do nothing for yourself. This is the present which I want to offer you. So in the end of when they were giving us the uh, they give uh, they gave us the diplomas you have first place on the table. I went to see him said oh, professor my success is only for you. In a sense, I want to kind of a pay, kind of a repay all the work which you have done with myself. It's the best what I can do for yourself. That's kind of a thing. So now uh, I see that connection to the authority figure is extremely important for me. In a sense, I always want to be like that figure. He's not only my to be my friend, but he's like the example. And I remember in the music academies. One day, he, he was genius, he like, I never, never can go down, everything what he did was exceptional, his knowledge, understanding, he was smoking and drinking, I, I was vegetarian, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I, I went to the spiritual path when I was 21, and with Yogananda, and here it is, uh, kind of a contradiction with him, but it doesn't matter, I still like him very much. So I remember one, one day we were uh, uh, in the academy, and he wanted to show us, he never played for years. What does he remember? The, the, the finger memory. So he said, oh, give me a cello. I was playing cello now. And cello, violoncello. And he put the violoncello actually on his top and put the rest of the ensemble around his shoulder. Like a, this is straight like that way, like a piano. Nobody plays cello. It's usually like you know, 45 degrees now. He took it and began playing Paganini. And kind of the things are going by itself without preparing warm up. That is always kind of, wow, what a being is that how can he possible to do it? He never exercised lately. <laughs> he still remember it. What the brain is that kind of a thing? So this was always inspired me in, uh, in people who are of exceptional qualities. He had to have a certain exception, always drawing. And also in, uh, when I met Yogananda, what a being, what a <sighs> take your breath. What a, how is it possible for such a being to exist, to give you attention? Be around, to want to inspire, to lift you up. And then I'm discovering Buddha, like I said, another 20 years later. What a being is Buddha, how could this guy do such things? And then meet different people, like Upan I meet like a Chen I meet uh, uh, some other teachers with a Brahman Vamsu. What a being is kind of a, wow, this is like not human. This is like a divine being, it's like Ukundala. I met. Ajahn Tong Shri Mangal. And I always inspire me to be in a company with these people. It looks like when I meet them, something like a magnetizes me to go to that level. And I feel, I feel I'm like not less than them. Something in myself. There is a something like from that level. And fortunately, I cannot step into it. So basically, that's quite kind of a. Uh, I begin kind of a. Uh, and go, but uh, that's kind of an issue.